Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Joe. Welcome back to SNES's Life Tonight. Packing time! Look out! It's another Pac-Man platformer. Uh, I paid Pac-Man platformer, ooh, I don't know, probably six months ago. And it was Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, and it was god-awful. Um, so hopefully Packing Time is better. Taking a look at this box art. I don't know. It looks like some weird version of David Bowie from the Labyrinth or something. <laughs> like zapping Pac-Man with a lightning bolt. A very strange box art. I can't say is it something that I would have picked up as a kid and been like, oh, look at this. This game looks awesome. Because it just looks a little cheap and weird, frankly. But, I mean, I guess that doesn't, you know, not every great game has great box art. Bring Pac-Man back. The ghost witch has cast a spell and put him back in time when he was Pac-Boy. Down some pellets and battle your way through a supersonic side-scrolling adventure. Through snowy mountains, forests, you get fireballs and bubbles and bats and ghosts. and Yeah, it's basically, as far as I can tell, it's just a, a super basic platformer, which, I don't know, spin, roll, jump your way. Top left, we got Pac-Man hanging on a rope. Top right, we got Pac-Man walking down a hill. And the bottom two, wrestle with Pac-Man eating plants, spiked fruit, and spitting pods. Here's your chance to chew up the gum monster. I mean, these all look functional as far as, like, it definitely looks like a platformer. Ain't no question there. And here we get the nice manual. Good art. I always like good art and color. Again, the, the story is literally what's on the back of the box. The ghost witch has sent you back in time, and you have to get back. Like, there's not a lot to go off there. Very simple game. B is jump. Y is active item. L and R scrolls your items. X apparently says you can view the surrounding area. My guess is that like locks the screen but lets you move the cursor. Uh, HUD explanation. A lot of power-ups, actually. You get a magic rope, a fireball, a sledgehammer, a water bubble, and power pellets, which turn ghosts blue so you can eat them, of course. Fruits for uh, restoring your health and extra lives. A bunch of other items that are, I guess, in the game, like... Not items you use to attack or as things, but just stuff that's in the area that you may end up using. Plenty of that. Five stages. Mountains, forest, forgotten palace, village, and castle. And that's it. A very, very short manual. Not that there's anything wrong with a short manual. But we're going to start. We're going to hope the game is good. Because it's been a little while since I've had a decent game. Namco. Namco used to be a, a name associated with quality. <laughs> and I guess in some games they still are after this. Like Namco, the ones that did Time Crisis. Time Crisis is an amazing game. Monkey, what's going on? Back in time, I love that song. Have we go back in time? That's a good song. So many crazy adventures. He's got a whole family. Oh, Pac Man got married to Miss Pac Man. They had Pac kids. And then this evil, freakish witch looking lady. She's like, hell no. I like the music. What are you up to tonight, monkey? Quiet? Do I need to up the mic volume here? That's better you have two laptops coming four different Twitch streams on. That's pretty bad, Goobs. You probably need to, to calm yourself down there. A little more mic. Let me... Where's my... We'll put the gain up a little bit, huh? How's that? <laughs> that feels probably too loud, really. Better? Okay. Back to 1975, world which was never heard. 
which is foul magic. 1970. I'd love it if you were in like the real world. That'd be hilarious. I immediately liked the animation and sprite of Pac-Man better in this one than in Pac-2. The world looks a little blah, but... Right on. How are you tonight, Goob? What are you up to? I mean, I guess I, you just said, but... Gum monster. The Beast Slayer stands the portal of time. Your only hope. Well, that would explain the five world so she has four ghosts inky pinky blinky and clyde and then apparently the gum monster is the king of the castle it's colorful i like the music so far Let's see what we got for options game speed we'll leave that pretty basic options the mountain Pac-Man's got bite. There's a little input lag here on this one. Yeah. There's definitely some lag on the jumping. No, come back. I need you. Damn it! I'll go over here first. Shit. I like when you move sideways and you get the normal Pac-Man. Jesus. He is hard to control. the wrong button. You gotta buy on a commando rope. Shit! Oh! Can grab the elevator apparently, that's nice. there in a minute you know oh no, give my rope back boy howdy
Okay. Oh, maybe there'd be something up there. Apparently not. so fast. It's really kind of hard to control. so bad the input lag on the jump is a little annoying um, I don't know if that's my TV or I mean it's probably my TV old games you know oh I lost my fireball Nothing actually there for me to take. Weak. Damn, he moves with a he moves with an almost sonic speed, doesn't he? Pack the hedgehog. Shit. Ow! Yeah, sucker. No. still have shit to do. Die, sucker. Hey, there we go. Now, there's obviously a bunch of stuff right there. 
How the hell I get down there is beyond me. Hmm. Eh, whatever. We'll just finish the level. Area three. I wonder how many areas there are to each section. It said five worlds, but this is gonna be like the longest five worlds ever. So bogus. No, come, come here. Get his ass. Control, to say the least. The rope thing is interesting. I like the mechanic. It's just hard to get used to. there's not a timer. Come on. The swimming animation is kind of cute. time the ram has ever actually like hurt me i'm getting further into the game now they're gonna start attacking me Killing that dude with a hammer wasn't gonna happen, apparently. Make 
Make sure it's not my wife texting me. Tricky shit. Tricky fish. Okay, so there's a ghost, there's an exit. I don't know if I want to go that way yet, but I'm gonna because there's a power pellet here. Secret. Well, now at least I know what the secrets look like. Sucker. Ah! God damn, you are about uncontrollable. Come on now. Ah, oh, bullshit. Bye. 
that green thing is the green power up is the rope and the rope is obviously necessary ah now we're gonna start safe state nonsense No! Yeah, sucker. I think it's a little silly that the rings stay there and you can lose your power by going back through them. I don't care for that specific thing, but... Otherwise, this isn't so terrible. So close. You could burn the bridges down. Oh, sweet, an extra life.
Hot dog. God damn, area six. No, I mean, it's not like the levels are long either, so it's not killing me or anything, but. That's gonna go well. I'm gonna go down first, I guess. Ah, oh, ha, ha, tricky. I am going the other way. Good God. It's kind of a bummer because this way is going to equal me dying, I'm sure of it. Spikes and then it's... I assume at some point I'm gonna match up with this log over here. Or I can just jump and get it, I guess. I think that one I'm gonna have to get on. Ah! My God! That's it. Last shit. Fog. It's almost easier just to take the hit there. Whoa. I'm guessing the boulder hurts. I was literally about to be like, surely I can't kill the boulder with fire, but apparently you can, which is a little weird. Now 
Now, getting back upstairs is going to be a challenge. Bogus, bro. Also bogus. Unless that ghost can be killed by fire. Son of a bitch. Oh, you bastard. Rubik's, what's up, buddy? Uh, this looks frustrating. That's because it is frustrating. <laughs> it moves very, very fast. Like a Sonic the Hedgehog game, man. But you're supposed to use this rope like a bionic commando arm, and it is not easy to do. It also doesn't help that this ghost is here just fucking with me. Damn it. <sighs> the only thing I can think of is maybe there yeah, I mean there's a pellet over here, I'll need that. But... Yeah, there's no better way up there. You just have to figure this shit out. And that's frustrating as hell. Let me look at the manual, see if it says anything about the rope. Boy, we should press Y button to attach the rope to the ledge above you. If you let go, it disappears. You can lengthen the rope and press it up or down. Ledge using left and right chiller buttons, you can pull an object by moving towards it away from it. Yeah, no, 
No, it doesn't say. Anything. I was hoping there was like maybe a thing that said like this is how you climb up, but uh, it doesn't appear to be. So yeah, this is just a frustrating ass part of the game, I guess, until you get good. Fuck you! Ah! <laughs> oh! Babe, is there enough rope to get me out? Haha! -ha! Power pellet, you bastard. Come here, you ghost. Eat your ass. Hey, I finished it. God damn. That part was rough. Quick save, yeah, no shit. Thank God for save states. So this is again another thing where you have to fucking swing right. And that's like the perfect spot right there. I was on board with this game for a little while, but now it's getting annoying. <laughs> oh! No! No, go down the fucking hall, Jesus! Yes, yes it does. Oh, shit! Fuck you. Not about to take that disrespect. There we go. Ha uh 
Ah! No! What the hell, man? So I need to get up there while I have the pellet so that I can freaking kill the ghost. as high as I can go. I guess now I have to go back down, maybe? Yeah, nothing there. Ah. No. Can't get in the exit yet. I should have known better than let myself fall down there. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Where'd that exit go? Woohoo! God damn. Damn, bird! Chill out!
Nah. Alright, well maybe there was nothing up there, I guess. No. Usually if there's a pellet, that means you're about to hit a ghost somewhere. Go down the hole, please. Jesus, go down the hole. got this level done. Sure would appear that way. Just gotta get dog. That level wasn't quite as bad as the other. I'm starting to figure out the swing thing. It's not the greatest mechanic, but it is functional-ish, I suppose. Aw, oh, come on, ghost. Why are you gonna go way the hell up there? Kill the shit out of you. This is as pairs I have to. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
I was like, I'm pretty sure that the, uh... Oh, yeah. Come here, you little bastard. Eight pellets left. Where the hell are they? There's probably one right there, obviously. One right there. Fuck the ghost. I didn't finish that ghost off. Damn it. No, I need the uh need the rope, please, and thank you. You know what? That's all right. It's nine o'clock, basically, which means I'm done. Uh, all right, packing time. I don't know. I'm a little torn on this one, actually. Uh, so the graphics aren't bad. I do enjoy the Pac-Man sprite. I like the look of him. The music is okay. It's getting pretty repetitive at this point. I'm in Area Nine. I think I'm still in World One. Uh, Jesus, my bet is there's probably ten areas per world. Five worlds, so 50 levels. The levels, at least thus far, are fairly short. I got no problem with that. The controls are really where this game is functionally hurt. Uh, I like the four power-ups. I like the hammer, the fire, the bubble that lets you breathe underwater and spit bubbles for an attack. I like the rope. The rope is the big problem. So... It expects you to master that swingy thing, which is super duper annoying. Not impossible. It's a get good situation, I think. You could get good at it, and then it's it's not a big deal. But I don't want to get good at it. The other thing is the game moves so incredibly fast. Like, so fast that it's really, really hard to control him. And there's input lag on my monitor or the screen that I'm using for this game, which is an issue that's probably not related to the game itself. So I don't want to ding it for that, but I am saying that might be a contributing factor why I'm finding it so hard to control them is because the jump isn't quite right. Uh, the ghosts are kind of a pain. You have to have one of the big power pellets to kill them. And then because of the the needing to use the rope swing to get up levels that power might not last long enough i would enjoy that more if that if, i would like it better if the power pellet was one of your powers you could choose to activate when you wanted to i think that would make that better um yeah it's been a really long time since i've given a thumbs up and i think i am going to give this a thumbs up i bet on a regular crt monitor on original hardware the input lag wouldn't be there and it would probably make it a lot more controllable including with the rope swing i bet and i feel like that would improve the gameplay a lot otherwise uh you know i played pack two pac-man 2 which turned it into a platformer and it was absolute trash it was a dumpster fire i didn't like that game at all and this one is functional it's it's not a bad platformer it's okay I don't think I'd have an argument if I ran across this for extremely, you know, for a, a cheap enough. I'm thinking probably a $5 game here. Um, let's see. Pack in time. 
Pack and time. Loose is $35. Jesus. I would not have guessed that. So, a little pricier than, yeah, I probably wouldn't pay $35 for it. But it, it's not a terrible game. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I think it's probably worth going out, giving a whirl, playing it. You know, especially if you can get it on original hardware, like I said, so the input lag's not there. But, uh, yeah, it's an okay game. I, I dig on it. Let's see. Next up in the line for Saturday, assuming that I'm here on Saturday. What are we going to play? We got there's some real shitters on this one. Uh, we'll do NFL Quarterback Club 96. It's a football game. I know it's not going to be great. I'm not a huge sports fan. I've played some football games I've given thumbs up to. Didn't thumb up the last NFL Quarterback Club, the original one. Probably not going to get it on 96, but we'll give it a whirl, see what they've changed. Uh, Stupid Monkey, Lord Goober, Rubix510, thanks for popping in, guys. I appreciate you. I'll see everybody on Saturday night. Peace out.